This year's CES has shown off some of the most genuinely exciting technology that I think we have ever seen at any one of these events. And some things that I'm absolutely terrified of. And I couldn't personally go to CES 2022 because after last year's review, I wasn't welcome. Don't put arms on robots. Don't ever put arms on robots. So Reed from Smart Home Solver was kind enough to let me use his footage that he shot at CES so that I could do a reaction video. And some of the things you're going to see today are going to literally blow your mind. Figuratively! No, literally. Today's video is sponsored by Locket, a home insurance startup that loves smart home technology as much as you do. Stay tuned to find out more. This is a set of speakers that are in fact headphones, because why not? Your scientists were so preoccupied with whether or not they could that they didn't stop to think if they should. Why have they made this? I don't care, because the technology is very exciting. This is using proprietary audio beaming technology, and the AI in its little computer can pinpoint the ears on the side of your head to decide where it needs to focus the music. Which is insane! And yet, I don't think I will personally find a use for this device because, I mean, if your wife doesn't want to listen to your music, then divorce her. <laughs> but with all that said, can you imagine a car stereo that could beam different pieces of music to individual passengers without the isolation of having to put headphones on? People could still converse whilst actually enjoying their favourite music. Now that's interesting. Last year we saw a dog guillotine for when your dog had been especially naughty. This year they've made one for humans! What? I'm not dressing in jeans and t-shirts now. That exists. I need this in my life so badly, but it costs two and a half thousand dollars. You have to provide your own door and you have to install it yourself as far as I can tell. assurances that it won't cleave you in half because of its sensors, apparently, but does it have to close that fast? If the sensors fail, you're dead! It's just... Reed's missus is braver than I am. These glasses have two 1080p screens, one for each eye, to simulate a 140-inch TV. It connects to the USB port on your phone so that your phone can stream video, movies, TV shows, etc. to the glasses. What's really cool about these things is that you can actually see through the screens. This means that if you wanted to watch something whilst you were on the bus, you could still see if somebody was coming to rob you. But if you do decide you want to watch these things in the comfort of your own home, you can clip on these magnetic blinders which block out the outside world and give you the full immersive experience. I'm not sure if these things can do 3D, that would be amazing. If they can, can you imagine actually a few of these things in a room together, all paired to the same movie? It could be the future of your home cinema experience with your family. On a side note, Reed needs your clothes, your boots and your motorcycle and or would like to give you some fashion tips on how to look good naked. None of this really matters though because they don't currently do aviator style rims. So I can't do my Alan Grant from Jurassic Park. <laughs> the rain stick saves both water and apparently energy by recycling your shower water back through a filtration system. And I'm trying to figure out if I want to save the planet badly enough to drink my own wee. Think about it. Don't pretend you don't wee in the shower, you liar. 
You can actually turn this recycling function off temporarily for this exact reason. And Reed, explaining this to his audience, tells us then that Rainstick have got you covered. Phrasing, Reed. Phrasing. So we got you covered. Covered. Covered in your own way. I don't want to knock this thing because at the end of the day, they're trying to save the world and that can only be a good thing, right? But at two and a half thousand pounds for a shower that I have to personally clean the gunk out of the filtration system every couple of weeks, I just don't see it catching on. Sengled? 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 However it's not supposed to be pronounced, I'm going to delight in pronouncing it incorrectly to punish them for coming up with a name impossible to figure out from reading it. Sengled have produced an LED light bulb that can send continuous waves into the room to act as sonar to figure out your sleeping patterns, to monitor those if you're interested, or even to figure out if an elderly person has fallen down, which is absolutely awesome. Reed insinuated that there could be some concern as to whether it would be measuring how often couples engaged in extracurricular activities in the bedroom. Not a concern. It can't figure out if one person is engaging in extracurricular activities, can it? It's not actually mentioned in Reed's video whether it can do this or not, but it should, in theory, be able to figure out if a room is occupied or not, and actually act as an occupancy sensor. This would be invaluable for smart home equipment because they are planning to implement matter. If Sengled, whatever they're called, decide to implement that functionality as part of matter, it'll act as an occupancy sensor to turn off lights and AV equipment around your room whenever you're out of it. That is exciting. And now, a word from our sponsor! You look like you've managed to sneak yet another smart home device past the wife! And you're probably thinking to yourself, if only her pretty little head understood how much more secure our home is thanks to those smart home whiz bags! Well that's sexist, Reginald, you misogynistic trumped up little fop doodle. But you know who does understand that smart home equipment makes your home more secure? Lockit! Lockit are a UK-based home insurance provider who automatically give you a discount on your premium if you're using smart home devices to protect your home. Reginald, what are you do- Yes, I know it's exciting! I'm still talking! If you're in the UK and you sign up to their free insiders program, they'll give you some smart home gadgets completely free as part of their study into the protective benefits of using smart home tech. Reginald, I am still talking! Depending on the smart home tech you already have, you could be given a free video doorbell, smart leak sensors, or even a smart water shut-off valve. You'll also get a life-safe fire extinguisher for free. This is literally free. I know that's insane. And once you complete the study, you'll get to keep the smart home doodads they gave you, and you'll get a participation bonus. To be eligible for the study, simply switch your insurance to Lockit and sign up to their insiders program. Lockit will even cover any cancellation fees from your existing providers. Bounders. Click the link in the description now and sign up to the Lockit Insider program today. And now, back to our main feature. Quick fire round then before we wrap up. Roborock showed off a brand new Robo vacuum, which can actually clean its own mopping system in its little house, which is amazing and I definitely want one. Except for the fact the price tag is $1,400. And for that price, I would expect it to suck more than just my carpet. I want it to clean my kitchen floor. What's, what are you thinking about? <laughs> Elon Musk's new company is apparently boring. One of the ways to get around at CES was made by Elon Musk's boring company. BMW unleashed a car that could change color from black to white on a whim, which is great, except for one problem. It looks like I painted it. As usual, CES were pretending that robots will one day be useful in the home. Look at this one. It chases Reed's wife. Ooh. Then there's this dystopian nightmare fuel. My name is Amica. 
There's nothing on my mind except for circuits. And murder. Circuits and murder. You humans do things robots could never do. That's not a compliment. She's not saying, oh, you can do things that we can't. She's saying we would never do that. She's saying that humanity is a de This is how it starts. This will be next year's CES. There was, however, a robot that could fetch me beer. Viral Warn have created a machine that can tell if COVID is in the air. CES wouldn't let them turn it on. What does that tell you? More poignant to me though, right, is this machine, when it detects COVID, it goes, whoops, I've detected COVID. The whole point of it then is to take the little mask off it and then put it on every child's face and get them to breathe into it to figure out which one of them is the guilty party. I can't think of a more effective way of spreading germs. Samsung mocked Reed for buying their previous picture frame by showing them this year's picture frame taking a steaming dump on the old one. Brilliant. And then with this final product, Reed said this. If your kids are a dick- What did you call my kid? Wah. If your kids are addicted to their tablets- Oh, it's, sorry, I see, I see. Addicted to the tablet. Is my kid addicted to the tablet? I don't see the point in this. Why, why does this exist? I mean, seriously, you take it off your kid and then you put it in a thing. Instead of, I mean, kids are quite short, just put it on a shelf for free. Just one more then, just one more. This is a pet Tribble with a wagging tail. It's not a sex toy. That's it for this week. I hope you've enjoyed today's video. If you have, please give it a thumbs up. That'll tell YouTube's algorithms it was a good video and more people should see it. If you want to see some more of this guy, hit that subscribe button and ding that bell. If you ding the bell, it lets YouTube know that you want to be notified when I upload more videos. These incredible people here are my patrons from Patreon and without them, this channel would not exist. I'm hoping next year I might actually go to CES myself if the whole situation has changed in the world, and it'll be thanks to those guys that I'll be able to go. If you want to do that, you can do that at either Patreon or buy me a one-off peer at PayPal, and either way, I will genuinely love you forever. I need to say a big thank you to Reed for today's video too, because without him, I couldn't have made this, and he's been a massive help by letting me use his footage. Finally, if you want to come and hang out with me, you can do that at all the Facebooks, the Twitters, the Instagrams, and the TikToks. See you there. Goodbye. That none of that was my usual spiel. <laughs> Do I want to save the planet badly enough to drink my own wee? Think about it. Don't pretend you don't drink your own wee. That's not what I mean! <laughs> Two 1080p screens, one in either... <laughs> and for that price, I would want it to suck more than just my carpet. I expect it to also... <laughs> Probably cut that joke. <laughs> That's rubbish. Wah.